Hey guys, so I don't, my hair is so weird today. I wore it, like I let it dry in like a top knot and it's like the ends of my hair is still wet but like my bangs are like super voluminous so it just looks kind of weird and I don't know how I'm, if I'm digging it because it's just weird, like I don't know. So let me know if this looks cute or not because if it doesn't then I'm literally going to never wear my hair like this ever again. Um, but it's so weird. Like half of it's dry. The ends are wet. It's really irritating. Anyway, so today I'm going to be doing a video on a new handbag. Okay, wait. Looks. I feel like I literally look seen or something. Um, Alright, my hair is really dry too. So... This is going to be a handbag review. Um, for once, it's not actually a replica. I know, so crazy. No, oh. This is the Katie Stampato, S-T-A-M-P-A-T-T-O, 12 inch in red. And the bag looks like this. It's so pretty and this is from Teddy Blake in case I didn't already mention but it should be in the title um and this is from their new spring collection I know they and they they sent this to me by the way and this is not a sponsor video I'm just reviewing it but this they have like really bright colors in their spring collection so it was kind of hard but I don't have a bag this color I normally have like literally one white bag um browns and a silver bag that's literally all i have so i thought this was really really pretty and i love the overall like aesthetic of this bag this is real leather that is handmade in italy so it's super like luck should i show the inside it's kind of like messy oh i hate my hair so annoying today. I just want to sit from like this side. But inside the bag looks like this. It has like a huge pocket in there and then like a huge, I feel like it's not doing justice, a huge big compartment in there. And then in the inside on the opposite side of the pocket, there is a like zippy pouch that has a Teddy Blake, Teddy Blake New York like stamp in there and it says that it's made in Italy and it's like sewn in there. The inside is velvet or suede. It's so luxurious. Um, and this, this, the quality of this bag is so nice, you guys. And I'm not even just saying that like normally compared to, except for with the exception, with the exception of my real Louis Vuitton bag that I own, my other bags just feel kind of like cardboard or something but this bag you can tell like it's really nicely made like all the stitching and stuff is just perfect um and the back looks like this so this also comes with a shoulder strap so you can put it you can hook it on these hooks there's one in the back like do you see that little hook back there you just hook it I don't like carrying bags like that. I don't know. I just like, I feel like it has to be close to my body. So I love carrying it like this. Also, I want to mention, I haven't done it yet, but you can hang this on the front of your bag, like, like right here. And this, it comes with a key and a lock. And then you just, well, the, the, the keys will be hidden and then the lock just goes on your bag. And let me show you the back locks like that and then imagine like the lock hanging like that so it's super nice like this is so classy looking and i know a lot of people are gonna be like is that a birkin um i don't really think that like yes i will admit the aesthetic of this is very similar to the birkin however this is not claiming to be a birkin so that's the difference that's why i feel okay like like wearing this and stuff because this I feel like this has significant differences from a Birkin so like 
I don't know. I, like, this isn't claimed to be a Birkin, you know what I mean? Like, if someone's walking around with a fake Chanel that has, like, the Chanel logo and stuff on that, then that's different. But I feel like this just looks really classy and it's definitely not 10 grand, hun. I have to say, overall, I really, really love this bag. I just feel like it's so cute and wearable for the spring. I don't know. Like, I feel like I literally don't have that like nothing bad to say about it. Oh, and did I show the bottom? It has like those stands. Um, but yeah, I just love this. Like it's so well made. Like I literally wish you guys could like just touch it. Like I could just hand it and you guys could be like, oh yeah, oh, like, hmm, yeah. I'll link this bag down below. I don't know if I have a discount code or not because I don't know, but um, yeah, just check them out. They have other bags too in different sizes. This one I feel like is a really good fit for me because it's not, like, I don't like bags. Like, do you guys know the Louis Vuitton Neverfold? I feel like that bag is too big. And then, like, my favorite bag is, like, the Speedy. I love that size. And I love, like, the one where you put it in the, like, crook of your arm. So this is perfect for me. It's definitely a change for my look since I always carry around like the same three bags. Check them out if you want. Um, I will link them down below. Thank you to Teddy Blake for sending me the this. I was gonna say these, like girl, I wish they sent me all their bags. And yeah, if you have any questions, I will feel, I will try and answer them down below, but they should be listed on the site, like all the details that I may have missed. So yeah, check them out. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you and I'll talk to you Later. Bye. Oh, I hate my hair. Bye.